Hello, uh, in this video I'm going to be going over the additions to the layout delays plugin in version 210. Um, the entirety of the additions are that we now have support for effect delays and this means that we can now apply delays to our effect layer. So for those who don't know, your effect delay and fade act in individual fade and delay, sorry, act independent of your individual normal fade and delay layers. If you go into your programmer, uh, into the effect layer at two of three, you will find your individual fade and delay values. So the default fade and delay times are the defaults of the queue, but your individual timing as applied here will not apply to those. So we have added the delay, the effect delay layer to these presets so that now we can do fun things like, so I've got an effect that is just pulsing my fixtures on and off, all in a phase of zero. But if we apply an effect delay into the queue timing, I've got a chase that just goes in and out of that effect. We can see, one, we can get into an effect using a transition uh, and keeping that phase as zero, we can still have our phase spread out across the rig by changing the time at which each fixture starts its effect. So this can be fun for, again, being able to get into your effect with a transition. So for example, if you want to have a left to right wave, but you don't want to see it all start at once, seeing it start in the middle of the phase, you can use this to have an effect with zero phase information, that is a phase of zero, uh, but a delay applied to get your offset between fixtures in into your effect. So yeah, you're, you're able to do fun stuff like this. So as far as the implementation side of it goes, the only difference you're really going to see in the installer is that now you have the ability to enable or disable your normal delays layer, which again, normal delays will affect your value layer uh, and your effect delays layer, which will apply your effects, apply to your effects. Pretty straightforward, I think. Hopefully I'm not over explaining to the end of the earth. And then the rest is the same. Then in your store macros generator, uh, at the top, we have added in a pair of options just for being able to control your delay layer and being able to control your effect delay layer with the generated macros. And if we look at the macros that are built with that, I have the wrong screen grabbed. It's fine. If we look at our generated macros over here, the only real difference is that if we look at our store delay macro. So all, all of these either triggers a pattern or a time that is the same as the previous version of this. But if we go into the store macro, we have the ability to enable and disable affecting our delay layer or our, our effect delay layer. The only reason you would really need to disable this is that if you have built presets, for example, that don't have effect delay, but you have this line enabled, it will still multiply the current effect delay value, which will be probably zero or whatever was last found in a queue. So you may not want that to be what is, um, you may not want that getting triggered. So you can just come in here and disable it here. Or if you installed it with those options disabled, you will find those lines defaulted to disabled here. Um, in either case, you can enable, you can toggle those after installation for whatever works best for your file. Um, and as with the previous version, you can specify in this line here where it is actually storing to. So currently it will store into every sequence whose name ends with underscore col exec. Um, just reiterating that because that seems to be a common point of confusion, I guess. Um, and that's it for, for those macros. And then, for sorry, for the, the punt macros, the, the store macros. And then there is the included macro that comes with the plugin installation for multiplying your delays that has now been updated to include the effect delay layer. So if you grab one of your presets to store into a queue, for example, if I turn this off and I want to grab my pulse effect, store that here. Great. That's working. And I want to, let's say, apply my 
I don't know, center out preset. I can apply that and then multiply it by four to make it a four second uh, effect fade. Store merge that in here. And now we will see that it will have a four second center out wipe, which does not look that great. I could have picked a better one um, and I'm about to. We will do a left to right of two seconds. Merge. I must not have done that correctly. Double click this, two seconds, store here, merge, clear out. There we go. So you can use that for, for using this plugin with QStacks. Same as it was with the value layer, just showing a demonstration with the uh, effect layer. And that's it. That is everything for that has been added into version 2.0 of the layout delays plugin. So hopefully that uh, helps some people out.